Hey everybody, how's it going today? This is Robbie at Bank Buck RC Reviews. Really appreciate you guys joining me. I know it's been a little while since my uh, last review. This car that I have on the table here, um, I purchased with my own money. I uh, wanted to do a review on it last year and uh, it kind of slipped away. You know, I didn't, didn't, really didn't get a chance to to do it other things were coming in and sometimes you know we I get out of hand and try to think ahead and plan when I can buy something and stuff and things get overlooked and this one running here this this car right here on the table should not have gotten overlooked this is the Rolalo uh, AMX 12 that I have on the table here I was one of the early birds uh, so I got the steel wheels with it last year around this time uh, and uh, you know, got it for a pretty good price. Uh, we're gonna take a quick look. I'm not gonna get too in depth, so let's take a look. All right, so there it is, kind of dusty. <laughs> uh, like I said, you know, it did come in the box, and this is how it comes inside the box that it comes in. So they give you uh, this really nice case, and uh, you do get to see the AMX 12 in an illustration here uh on the cardboard band that surrounds the box so yeah this is very nice like i said we're not going to get in and do a fancy an opening we're just going to spin it around take a look at it and just take a look at what you get here look at this uh looks like a almost looks like a coffin for a car uh no it's very uh nicely packed uh, if you guys can see uh, the case here, it's got that faux carbon fiber feel to it. Uh, you know, I think it's like some kind of vinyl. And I even forgot what color uh, AMX 12 I had ordered. And of course it was the red, white, and blue one. Uh, they have a sleeve inside the case right here where you can put your manual and some spare parts and components. And uh, they give you, of course, uh, the tail fin uh, that you have to put on yourself they also give you screws to do that steel wheels are in there and this is the controller so just recently well not too recently early a little bit earlier this year uh, beginning of the summer i bought the uh, am uh, d12 and love that buggy still love it the buggy is probably one of the best rcs i bought this year uh, why I reviewed that one before this one, I don't know. But they're based on the same chassis, based on the same platform. Uh, but they do, uh, from what I've seen in the videos, they do uh, handle and drive differently. So uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, there it is. I did put the rear spoiler on, guys. They give you the screws. Uh, to be able to put that on, there's four screws that uh, basically go on uh, the uh, shock tower over here. Uh, real easy to put on. You do need to have uh, some Allen tools, which I do believe they supply in the bag. We will take a look at uh, what came in the parts bag as well. But first, take a look at this thing. Super nice looking car. It does have those solid uh plastic wheels or nylon wheels i should say right over here i do like those actually and uh here are the uh, metal wheels i think i'll use those as well but uh for the time being when i test this and uh review this on the run i'm gonna just keep these uh plastic solid disc wheels on for the time being yeah very nice very nice looking uh car by Rilalo. Got a little bubble in the sticker there. Um, this is actually the Amarillo, which guys, as you can see down below, Rolalo.com. Uh, this is the Amarillo version of it, but uh, still the same exact thing as the Rolalo AMX-12. They're both called AMX-12 as well, so another bubble right here. Hey, it's been a year. It's been sitting in a box for a year. So these stickers probably may not stay, I don't know. Let's see. I just have to keep putting my finger over them. But uh, very nice. I do like the red, white, and blue. Uh, they also sell, sell this in the cyan, uh, orange, and blue um, livery. Um, either 
whatever your taste is uh, I like the red white and blue one um, I did take the uh, plastic film off so let's go through this real quick we do have um, these uh, looks like a laminated carbon fiber shock tower don't know if those are true carbon fiber or not uh, some people say that they're not um, others say that it is uh, the car is fairly light it's not uh, it's not super heavy and uh, yeah that's the internals right there we have a 40 uh, 45 uh, amp ESC which is fan cooled uh, we have a 2847 brushless motor as you can see right there it's a 3200 kV 32 or 3300 I think that's 3200 kV brushless setup uh, oil filled shocks a metal uh, suspension links these are the upgraded metal uh, axles and the front same deal as well we get uh, nice durable robust uh, lower control arms and uh, very very nice setup six channel receiver over here and it looks like they gave us a battery too let's take a look at what we got for a battery and it comes with a 2800 milliamp hour two cell 7.4 volt battery so really nice i know there were some issues with these people were saying that that uh that little thing right there was uh could possibly nick the battery i'm not really too worried about it i think that was kind of, i mean I know people are going to scrutinize RC cars right to the hilt. Uh, I'm not that anal uh, about things uh, myself. Um, I don't think it's going to do anything to the battery. I mean, if you put your battery in tight, it should be fine. Uh, it does come with Dean plugs. Uh, you do have a hole here, and you do have droop screws for this. As you can see right in the control on there, so if you want to increase or decrease the uh, suspension height of your vehicle you can do so with those uh, droop screws uh, and improve your ground clearance or not but we're just going to keep it totally the way it comes out of the box when i do the review i will end up putting droop screws in it because i do like um, uh, how it affects the stance so and uh so anyway um not gonna like babble too much about this you guys uh know about these things already you <laughs> hear a year late let's look at the parts bag right here they give you four control arms this is now this is something Rolado does uh, quite commonly i mean not my a my amd 12 uh, I didn't get quite as many goodies, but uh, still, they give you a lot. So you get four control arms. You got a USB uh, charger. If you don't have a charger, um, you can use this. This will probably take you about four hours to charge. They do give you a bag of uh, droop screws. And they show you right there where the hole is. You can adjust the droop in the uh, control arms there, in the lower control arms. Uh, they give you some tools, some body clips, an axle wrench, an extra shock tower. A foam bumper, so if you got a newbie or you just, uh, you know, get a lot of curbs around your house and you don't want to break your car, uh, this will uh, definitely protect the front of your car. They show you and give you instructions on how to put that on. Very easy. Uh, again, everything is Allen instead of Phillips. So a lot of people like that. I'm not one who really cares either way, as long as I can get them out. Uh, so really nice touch there. A 17 tooth uh, pinion. Hexes for all four wheels. Axle uh, lug nuts for, uh, for the wheels, for the center nuts there. Uh, so that's awesome that they give you all this stuff uh, with the vehicle. Um, 
I'm not going to talk too much about it. Like I said, oil filled shocks, these things, let's do a drop test on this. Let me get some stuff out of right here. Let's do a drop test on it. We'll do it with the body shell off. Yeah, very planted. A lot of those shocks are out of this world. Uh, they're pretty much the same thing as the WL Toys. This chassis right here uh, takes a lot from the WL Toys and they just make it better. Uh, that's the cool thing about uh, Rolalo is that they do things, uh, they do seem to improve uh, things uh, from where they get it from uh, WL Toys. So really cool, cool stuff here uh, from Rolalo. Uh, these tires, very grippy, very supple. Um, I do like them. So I'm not a track car guy. This is supposed to be more of a track car, off-road track, you know, beginner race car. Uh, I'm not really a track guy, um, but I will uh, be trying this on my track out back uh, when I get that mowed down again. So, all right. Let's take this out and see what she has got. I'm going to charge the battery. We'll get batteries in the... Oh, I didn't even go over the controller. It's just a regular... Um, this is what a Rolalo is gone with now. Is the... Um, this is a Dumbo RC, basically, in Rolalo clothing. Really nice controller, guys. They have good range. They have really, uh, really good uh, functions and stuff as far as adjustability goes. So you do have your adjustments in there, um, steering adjustment, steering dual rates, throttle adjustment, and throttle dual rate. These uh, four AA batteries in the transmitter, uh, pretty easy to come up with those these days. Uh, you can go on Amazon.com, uh, order your batteries from there, or I go to Harbor Freight for real cheap price, like, uh, geez, I think it's like seven bucks for 24 of them or something like that. But anyway, yeah, so you can uh, get some AA batteries, put those in your transmitter, and you're ready to rock. So, very nice indeed. So I'm going to stop blabbing, guys. Let's get this, uh, let's get this charged up and out on the, out on the road and see how it does. Hey, guys. All right, we're, we're outside uh, in front of my house right now. We're going to do a top speed test. We'll warm up the battery. We'll try to give it at least four laps and then uh, we'll do a metered run. I do have the uh, GPS uh, zeroed out. Excuse me if the camera flinches a lot. The bugs are absolutely horrid right now. The mosquitoes and the black flies are in full force. So yeah, the uh, GPS is zeroed out and uh, let's see how fast this thing goes. I know everybody likes to see the top speed on these things. Uh, see if it's anything near uh, or better than the uh, uh, than its brother, the Rolalo AMD 12. So, like I said, this this should have been done last year, guys. Sorry, I um, a little behind on, on a few videos, but uh, that's all right. It's all good. All right, let's see what this thing does. Okay, uh, this is a 2S, by the way. This is the stock battery that it came with. Uh, it's 2800 milliamp hour two cell uh, battery. We will try a 3S uh, after I'm done with this and we'll see how that does as well. Um, we might have to go on the other road over there where it's a little wider, but we'll see. Here you go. Off the stock battery, um, that is 32.8 miles an hour. 
32.8 miles an hour, guys. Not too bad. It uh, has smaller wheels than the uh, AMD 12. I'm thinking that uh, because that had bigger wheels and is geared a little differently, that thing had a higher top speed. But uh, let me uh, let me check real quick at the make sure I had the uh, dual rate all the way up. might have more in it possibly oh yeah the dual rate wasn't all the way up we're gonna give it another run guys sorry about that yeah the dual rate was okay let's try this again the dual rate was on like 75 percent so let's try this again let's see if we get a little bit higher Oh yeah. Oh wow. Okay, gotta take it easy on this one guys. Definitely got top though. Okay. That made a huge difference. <laughs> Dual rate uh, was down to 75%. Now we got it maxed out. 43.7 miles an hour. Okay, guys. 43.7 miles an hour on the 2S Lipo that it comes with. Very impressive. Uh, we're going to take it on the grass track um, before I put a 3S in it. Let's, uh, let's go see uh, how that does on the grass track. See if it can ride in the grass at all. Let's do that right now. Okay guys, here we are on the grass track. We'll give it a whirl. I just uh, shaved it down a little bit with the uh, mower. Uh, let's see how this thing does. Oh, Kick the battery right out of it. Okay, we had kicked the battery right out of it on that jump. Uh, one thing that would be a recommendation right off the bat, because uh, this thing was strapped in pretty good, um, to have a uh, uh, strap going crossways as well as lengthwise to hold the battery in a little better. So, Rolalo, if you are listening, um, I would definitely do that to your vehicles. Uh, two straps going uh, lengthwise and horizontally. All right, let's check this out. Get 
through the grass really, really well. Seems to land on its wheels really well. Everything's holding up good. Throwing a little bit of stuff on the spoiler. Drop the dog bone. I have to put that in. All right, so we did break something that with that just that little uh, jumping jack thing. I must have weakened it or something like that with the other jumps. Uh, really not a big deal, not a really terrible hard fix. Uh, I don't have the part on hand. I don't believe I'll have to check in the uh, in the goodie bag. I don't think they gave us one of these, um, but it is. Um, I had also lost. Uh, this had gotten disconnected, the dog bone itself uh, had shot itself off and the ear on the bottom here, right there that holds a swing arm, that is severed. So we can't continue to go on. I, <laughs> I really wanted to go on with a uh, 3S uh, lipo run, see if we could get a top speed out of it with a 3S, but uh, it's not gonna happen in this video. Really sorry about that, guys. Uh, things happen. Um, this does seem to have that carbon uh, composite or resin uh, chassis and parts like the uh, like the uh, shock tower here and stuff. It does seem to be more like a laminated uh, type of carbon, but uh, you know, hey, things still break. And uh, I probably weakened it on a couple of those other jumps. Uh, but uh, does, does that uh, uh, change my view on this? 
I really do like this. This is a sweet little vehicle from Rolalo. Uh, give it a two thumbs up, much like the uh, AMD 12. Uh, it's built really strong uh, just because it broke like this. I mean, you get Traxxas sometimes that land wrong and they break too. Same thing with Losis and Armas and stuff like that. So um, not really disappointed. Just got to order that part if I don't have it in the, uh, in the parts goodie bag. So I uh, hope that doesn't disappoint you guys too much or deter you from buying this. It's a really nice vehicle, very fast, and uh, the controls are spot on. So just it, it takes a little bit to get it dialed in the way you want it. And uh, very, very sensitive on the uh, inputs on the steering. Uh, but aside from that, hey, it did the grass really, really well. Um, very pleased with it. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. We'll see you next time on Bang for Your Buck RC Reviews. Talk to you later.